Hi everyone, Crystal back with a video. Today I'm going to be sharing some projects that I created for my friend and new swap, uh, a new swap partner and friend. Her name is Lori. She is creating for fun um, here on YouTube, I think. She might be on YouTube as creating for fun, but I will make sure to link her YouTube and Instagram for you guys down below so you guys can go check her out. She makes the most amazing, amazing flowers, you guys. Let me share with you guys really quick. So I placed an order with her and I was like dying for these flowers. Look at, she makes these flowers, you guys. Oh. And they're so layered and so dimensional. I just, I love these flowers so much. And so I placed an order with her to, for her to make me some. And oh, aren't they just so gorgeous? Look, I just love them. So make sure you guys go check her out. If you guys want to purchase some of her handmade flowers, uh, make sure you do that. So um, she and I decided to swap some carousel projects. Um, I think I reached out to her not too long ago, or maybe we kind of just were going back and forth. And we decided to just make um, crafter's choice of one like 3D embellishment, I mean 3D project. And so this is what I came up with. Um, and what I'm going to be sending her. Her birthday's at the end of the month, so I think I'm going to be sending this package to her at the end of the month, closer to her birthday, if not on her birthday. I just wanted to record the video so I can package it up and get it out. Or, I mean, uh, have it ready. So, the first thing, I actually reused this packaging that um, was sent to me by natalie my friend natalie and decor she made this really cute like packaging and so i thought i used the contents in the packaging already she had gifted me some bag toppers and so i thought well i, I don't want to like throw this away so i reused it and so i put my own um projects in here so this first one is just I used one of the cut aparts from the collection. Sorry for the glare, it's already, I had to put them in here. Um, and then I just layered a bunch of different pieces that I created. Um, this was a bow that was gifted to me by Natalie and I just thought I would add it to this um, embellishment. This is just a rosette that Natalie also gifted me as well. So I was able to use a lot of um, some of the elements that she gave me or projects she gave me. So that was the first one. And then the second one is this one here. And it's just um, using another cut apart from the collection. And I just love how this one turned out as well. Um, I used a sticker sheet. Uh, a rosette back there and then these are this is a flag embellishment that I made using um, some ephemera that I had printed out so I love that and then this one here is a bag topper that I created um, just using some doilies and then some flag pieces that I used on the end here and then this is just a cluster that I made on top of a rosette added a little pom-pom so cute and then there's this one here with these elements here I just love this bunny so so cute and this is just another back topper originally the one Natalie gave me was um, just three and so I needed a fourth one so I just used um, my own bag and tried to kind of copy what she did <laughs> so that is the first thing I made for her um, there and then I made this suitcase stack you all know um, every swap that I've been doing lately I've included these suitcase stacks I just love it this is one in using carousel and I just did a little cluster here and then a cluster in the front so I love how that turned out and on the top one I included this um, it's like a dangle charm, which I made her too. So I kept the other one out and I will package this one. But I kept it out so I can show you guys. And I just love it. It's like a 
dangle charm. I made this little ball um, dangle that was inspired by my best friend Kamika. She had made one of these and I was like, I want to make one. So I made mine into a charm. Then I added this little um, chain. And then I added some of this, this cute little resin flower, a little heart, I mean, heart, little dangle flower. This, there's a bow. And then I made this little dangle here with a star and a, just a bead. And then I added this little butterfly down here. So cute. But I just love these. I have a few more that I want to make just to have on hand. But I gifted her two of these. So let me put this one back and then I can seal it and add it to the suitcase. So there's that. So I am gifting her two of those in the top one. So I hope she likes that one. And then on the second um, suitcase, I have, I made a bunch of these Maggie Holmes inspired flowers and I did, did them in two different sizes. I have some bigger ones down there as well, um, but this is using a carousel as you guys can see. So I gifted her a bunch of those and then the bottom one has a bunch of these butterflies that I made and this is using um, a die that V had gifted me. Thank you so much V. I love it. I didn't realize it's the mini version so I'm so excited and so happy you sent this to me. So thank you girl. I appreciate it. So this one I layered um, just some vellum in between two of the different patterned papers and then I used the Momenta um, butterfly body die and I used um, some glittered foam for that for the body so it kind of is more dimensional so that is my suitcase stack and what I created for her and that one and then I also um, made her this super cute swan I love it I love how this turned out it's so cute it's like a box the other side's the same I added some glitter to her beak and her, um, this is just some glitter stickles for the eyes. And then I used the collection carousel and I made her some of these really cute, um, clothespin pom-poms. And I've been dying to make these because I have a bunch of pom-poms that I wanted to use up. So I did make her a handful in gold and then a handful in that Martha Stewart, like iridescent, I don't know if you can see it right there, the iridescent pink. Um, and so that is what is in there. So I made that as well. And then I also made her this shaker envelope. I don't know if I might have shown this, but it is a shaker envelope. And inside has three of these paper clips, these jumbo paper clip embellishments that I've been loving making lately. Um, this is just using one of Natalie's um, kites that she had made me. So I love how that one turned out. And then there's this one here. Just love these, so, so fun. Okay, and then this is the other one love it so much and then here is the envelope with all the shaker bits and so that is what is housed in this envelope here just has three of them so I will package this in a cute bag and then um, I gave her this loaded supposed flat mail <laughs> And so I used one of Natalie's bag toppers on this one. So I love it so much, you guys. And then I made her some bows um, using the bride's bow die. I always gift bows whenever I can. And then I know she loves swans. So I gift, I don't know if she has this or not, but if you do, you can always re-gift it. But um, I know she loves swans, so I thought that I would gift this to her. It's Maggie Holmes. I think it's Willow Lane. I'm not sure what collection. I think Willow Lane. So 
So that is that one. It's also a shaker. It shakes when you pull these out. <laughs> and so what else? And then I made her, because it is her birthday on the 29th, I wanted to make her a cake. So I made her this super cute cake, and I just love it. I made one for um, Wendy or Wandy as well. And so I wanted to create a carousel version. So here's that. And then I did like a little cluster in the front with the little carousel. This is a happy day with the kite, a little um, hot air balloon. And just, I just love how this turned out. And then the top are these flowers that I hauled from Michael's during the Easter. I got like a huge box for $5. And so I thought I would include all these super cute, um, like fabric flowers. I just love how that looks. And then on the inside, I've been buying um, tablecloths, you guys, and I've been making these ruffled trims with the tablecloths. <laughs> and so I found this gold one here. And so I just made a bunch of this ruffly, like trim. I made a ruffled trim for her that she can use on projects. Sorry, that one is super crinkly. And then I made a white version here. And this one, I love how this one looks. It's so iridescent and so pretty. So I shared some of the white one with her. And then I also shared some of the pink one as well. And the pink is so pretty too. Oh, so gorgeous. So she can when you because uh, i've been getting a lot of questions on what you can use this for so what i use it for is sometimes i'll get like for example this and i just want to layer it really quick on the bottom um, i just use it as trim and then i'll kind of layer from there but i'll use this as a base and then layer from there um, you can use it for die cutting um, you can use it for wrapping paper whatever your heart desires can just use it for whatever you want so that's what I put in this little container I hope she likes that and then I also made her this super cute box you guys this is a heart scallop box I was totally inspired by Adriana Alvarez she had made one not too long ago um, and hers was like a Valentine theme and so I love it she did some stitching and I tried to copy um where she did her stitching so I did that and I just love how it turned out except for Adriana had a zipper and I'm like didn't have time to be adding a zipper but I used this bag topper that um Natalie gave me so I'm so out of her bag toppers you guys ah, I'm so sad but it just coordinated so well with this project and I just thought it was the perfect like embellishment so I used it as an embellishment and not a back topper but that's okay I just love it so on the inside I made some of these um, yarn or ribbon rainbows and so that's what I gifted in here and then I also gave some of these carousel um, little shakers that I had made using a spellbinder die that I found in my drawer <laughs> that I never ever used and these are kind of tricky and time consuming to make but the end result is so cute so I gifted and shared some of these with her so I love this and I just love this box so cute Lori I hope you like that um and so there's that. Hope she likes that. And then what else? Last but not least, I made her this super cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let me just take it out. I shouldn't have wrapped it. I got ahead of myself and got so excited. But um, I made her this um, this um, popcorn box. And this is how I altered the popcorn box. So cute. I just did like a little cluster with some kites and balloons. Um, and so I love how this turned out and on the inside I gifted her some of these socks and these are like the most awesome socks it says crafting queen um, I wanted to keep it for myself but I thought you know what I'm gonna gift it um, because I have plenty of socks but it's just so cute 
so that's what it goes in there and um that is my swap. I hope she likes everything I created for her. Um, but make sure you guys go check her out. Um, and then this video, you guys will probably see when she already receives her package. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will try to answer them. I know I always say that. Um, but I will try to answer all the questions down below for you guys when I have a chance. Um, but thanks for watching. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye.